Hey guys, let's talk about the evolution of the commentary genre on YouTube. Hit the like button if you love commentary videos. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe if you do like and subscribe. Thanks so much for doing so. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Good to have you here. Hi. Okay, so for me, I love commentary channels. And I love commentary videos and documentaries. And I would say guilty pleasure, but it's not even guilty pleasure. I'm not even feel guilty. Like, I love it. I want to be open about it. I love it. Here we go. I love it. So, gosh. Okay, the evolution. When I first, I feel like the, the commentary ugh, community has gone through different waves, good and bad. In the beginning, let's face it, a lot of them just did it because they wanted the views <laughs> by putting the influencer's face in the thumbnail and their name in the title. And they wanted the views. And it worked a lot of the time. Then it became good because predators, shady people were being exposed and caught, you know, and it's been really good. Then it got kind of like they did it because it was getting them views and money and they kept harping on it just to harp on it, just to make money and get mon and views. And then it became kind of like, okay, now you're just taking advantage of the situation, you know, piggybacking on the drama. And I feel like some, now it's like somewhere in the middle, you know, like there are some channels who are doing it just to take, take advantage. And there are some people who genuinely are meaning to call out things that are being, that are not right in the community, on the, in the YouTube community in, in, as, as a whole. And I think that some channels are better at this and some channels aren't. And um, I don't know, I feel like as a commentary channel and you do commentary videos, you need to, of course, express your opinion and be yourself. But don't just do like 15 videos in one subject just because it's getting you a lot of views. Because you're not really doing anything, anybody a service. You're just kind of doing it just to get views. And I get it, but it's like, you know what I mean? Like the whole Shane Dawson thing happened earlier this year. Like even I was a part of it too. Like I kept making Shane video after Shane video because I knew it was going to get me hits, right? And then after a while, I was like, you know what? It's just not cool. Like we get it. Like he was canceled. He needed, he needed to be canceled. And let's move on now to something else instead of just going, 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 going. And I leave those videos because I just, they weren't my style anyway. So, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I think the genre is a great genre. But if you do your research, show your opinion in a respectful way, and you make a few videos on a subject and move on, maybe doing a follow up six months down the line or a year later, but to just in a month period, I'm not gonna name a channel who did this this summer, but in a month period, doing like 30 videos on the same person, yikes! Just to get views and subscribers, do you really care about the drama, or are you doing it because you know the drama will give you that monetization money? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, what are your thoughts? Leave them in the comments section below. Leave a comment, give this video a thumbs up if you love commentary videos, and subscribe if you're new. If you do like and subscribe, thanks so much for doing so, and welcome to the channel if you're new. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you very soon. Bye, guys.